Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This will be the first installment of a series of tutorials running through a polysurface waffle definition. So you can see here we have two spheres that have been unioned together and we've uh, created a waffle um, on top of them. And uh, after we create the waffle, we'll go ahead and label them and uh, set them out for uh, digital fabrication. Uh, in their individual vectors. So that'll be uh, the extent of the series. Let me flip over to uh, a new definition. This will be uh, just a sphere that we'll do. And this first series will, this first video will go into uh, creating a uh, bounding box and using the box corners to create a, the waffle grid that we want. So here's all we're going to do right now. I'll just delete this and return to the, the basics that you need to start with. So we're going to do this for a polysurface, which we'll call a geometry in Grasshopper. So that'll be under the geometry, uh, and we'll set that, set this geometry as our sphere. We'll start with two sliders, struts A and B, or uh, the number of struts we want in the U and V directions. I'll keep them at six right now, but you can do whatever, uh, any number you like. And then a material thickness slider. Here I'll set this at three, but we're going to later reduce it down to inches or whatever units you need. You can adjust later. So we'll start off with these. First thing I'm going to do is create a bounding box on our geometry. I'm just going to double click and search for that. And the C input will be our geometry, and that'll create our box. Next up is the box corners, and this is really the, the the button that does the entire waffle for us. Box corners has all these uh, outputs for each of these different corners you can see highlighted. I'm going to unpreview the bounding box, and now we're going to create a bunch of lines. So I'll just get a two-point line and copy it four times. I'll start by just connecting A and B into a line. So this is bottom two right there. And I'll connect C and D. And then I'll connect B and C to get the uh, opposing lines. And then A and D. So that'll give us those that bottom uh, perimeter. So from there, we're going to divide those curves into the number of waffles that we need. So that's the divide curve button. Copy that four times as well. And then for C, that curve will just be these line inputs. By default, the N or number of segments is 10, but we're going to send that back to our uh, toggle for the number of struts except it actually divides it into the number of uh, segments. We actually want that those number of points. So we're going to do x plus 1, a uh, uh, single variable function. Here's f1. And then I'll just type in x uh, plus 1 for the expression editor. And then copy it twice. And then we'll have one of those for for each of our struts. And then from there we'll uh, take the top one into the first two and the bottom one into the last two. And then you can see once I toggle my strut A, uh, those two corners, those two sides uh, toggle as well. And then from those divide, uh, we're just going to create two more lines and this will draw lines from one side to the other side and it should be in an orthogonal grid so you can see these these from left to right are behaving correctly except the first two uh, the first set is crossing in the middle right there an easy way to fix that is just go back to our box corners and we're going to switch the second line from C to D to D to C and just inverting that will uh, switch the order in which the lines are populated and 
that'll be it. So join us for the next tutorial to extrude these up into planes and create our waffle.